You ever have that dilemma where you need to be in two places at once? Well, that's my dilemma. Hello everyone, welcome to my day. I've got to do, be at two places at once this Saturday. I can't do it. Oh. Uh, but, I'm going to try to make the most of it of trying to get both places to go and... Uh, buy some plants. There's two plant sales. I didn't even know about the second one until today. First one is important. I'm going to talk to you about that. Second one is the local college is doing their annual plant sale in Chino Valley which is 25 miles away and that starts a half hour before the first plant sale I have to go to. So I can't one starts at 8.30, the one in Chino starts at 8. I can't be at both places. But I wanted to talk to you about the mon monarch butterfly population. Uh, it's declining. And that's what I've been looking at, at probably the last month or so, reading up a little bit about it. I've seen different numbers for it. I'm not going to quote any numbers, but uh, they've decreased dramatically uh, in the past few years or 10 years or whatever it is. So that's been my plan is to buy some milkweed. They're saying milkweed helps uh, with their migration, their breeding. Uh, I think it's a food also for them. Um, and uh, with all the commercial crops, they've been uh, killing off the milkweed, come to find out. So I've had two chances to buy milkweed, and between miscommunication miscommun of the person giving that out, I've, I've lost on two places to get it. This weekend, uh, they're having a local native plant sale. Um, around in my area so I'm going to that so if you have a chance and if you're interested of uh, at least helping the monarch butterfly population increase is to look into milkweed, milkweed. there's uh, 73 different species I didn't think there was that much until I, look, I looked up tonight um, about you know I thought there was I know there was quite a few for Arizona um, each different region has different types of milkweed so it's best to buy the milkweed for your region and not something else so you wouldn't be on the East Coast buying Arizona milkweed um, you know you'd buy the type that grows well in your area so if you want to help you know look into it uh, you know, if you enjoy the butterfly butterfly population. Now, these are monarchs. I'm not too sure if the other butterflies, I would think they would tend to, you know, gravitate toward the plant too. But this was just for monarchs. But I, I have a bunch more butterflies in my area than those. So, um, you know, those d different plants, they come to migrate too. Um, so I wanted to bring that up was, you know, there's a decrease right now, and if people plant enough milkweed, or if, if they have enough to, for migration and to live with, uh, it should increase the population. So the Yavapai College plant sale should have vegetables. And I'm just going out there to see if they have like zucchini or some other vegetable. I figured get a head start. I uh, on their website it was like a dollar plant, which isn't bad. You know, you're paying that, or you're paying like two two dollars for seeds. But if you have a plant, then that takes less time to grow. And I, you know, within. A few weeks here I should be able to put them in the ground if not I can try growing some more zucchini I just have to get seeds
or scrape up some see if I have any left so I guess that's today's vlog is just to tell you about the monarch butterfly population you know um, read up on it if you're interested of helping you know the butterflies you know out I am I, I'm gonna uh, plant a, at least a few plants along the driveway um, to do my part I've been wanting to and just you know it hasn't worked out there was a plant sale in Conwood which is over the mountain for me in the Verde Valley and uh, that didn't work out so this came up this weekend and hopefully I can get out there starts at 8:30, and I've been slipping kind of back into a night schedule again which isn't great for me I I like being up at least during the day to do things but it's been windy I haven't been uh, able to go out at all actually I, who wants to be in, in the wind doing things you know and uh, right now the wind has died down surprisingly it's been windy all day there's a butterfly not a butterfly a hummingbird at the feeder I don't know how long he's gonna stay they don't stay too long but there's been an increase by the next few days I'll probably have to change out the water uh, it's it's gone down that much it, it's not empty empty but yeah, he flew away now so I don't want to drag this on I just wanted to bring the butterfly situation to your attention and um, you know uh, maybe do your part um, if you if you haven't seen yesterday that's a long one I'm still uploading yesterday's vlog right now I don't know 40 45 minutes of me playing Minecraft I give you a tour around the base show you show you what happened uh, show you the item sorter tree farm I have a couple um, farms of uh, wheat uh, sugar cane and then uh, ride the uh, rail down to the dungeon um, so check it out if you want uh, I know it's kind of long and I didn't think it'd be that long but eh, you know I just threw it together then I played like three hours on the live webcam I was trying to get it or even more than that because I was trying to sort out the the whiteness of the uh, screen and uh, so I just kind of gave up I, I set it to original a couple settings make make it a little bit darker which might show up better and then I just played uh, I think I saw maybe five people come and go I'd look every now and then to see if anybody was viewing and I see one viewer say hello to him and then they leave I want so I kind of gave up on even checking to see who was watching I just played I was uh, dug a new path down to level 12 and dug out for diamonds iron and uh, coal That's what I was doing pretty soon I'll build something I'll find something else to build or um, I don't know and then some ideas of doing a live uh, live chat for with others who play um, Minecraft too so they'd be playing I'd be playing on my cert you know my single player and uh, seeing what they do what I do uh, you know um, trade out ideas you know if you're interested you know get hold of me we can uh, set something up um, might be fun so thanks for watching today I won't keep you any longer hopefully your day is going well and uh, I'll see you tomorrow but before I go shout out to uh, the uh, same C's S A M E or yeah S I E S Sam C's Amy and uh, Sam you should go check them out I'll put a link uh, in the vlog here down below uh, two funny girls or young ladies I should say they're in their 20s but uh, 
they're not girls anymore, they're young ladies. But check them out. I, I told CJ about them, so he was going to check them out. But uh, they got a cute dog, Ellie. I should have done this in the beginning of the video than now, but I just thought of it. But yeah, check them out. I'll put a link. Um, I've watched all their 12 videos so far. And, you know, it's keep it, it, it's keeping my interest, which usually these vlogs, well, not the my vlogs, but, well, my vlogs don't keep my interest either, but <laughs> other people's vlogs. Uh, okay, thanks for watching.